Hey Shane, what are you doing? No, no, no. I'm not doing this with you today. Can't you just go bug Alex instead? No, I can't. Nobody's seen Alex since that building was on fire. Fine. What are you trying to rope me in with this time? Okay, well, I know the last time I showed off my synergy skills, you weren't really impressed, but I think I got something that'll blow your socks off this time. It's called the Flash. Watch this. You know, Derek, I've been honing in my own synergy. What, what are you talking about? What synergy? Which one did you learn? It's called Pat. Huh? Golden Sun ends on a cliffhanger right when things start getting more interesting. Where was I? Oh yeah, Golden Sun ends on a cliffhanger right when things start getting more interesting, which gets continued in the sequel Golden Sun The Lost Age, released in 2002. In this game, we see the continuing adventures of I Felix. That's right, it's a perspective flip! Felix may have appeared to have been an antagonist in the first game, but here you'll see what was really going on behind the scenes. So, what's new in the sequel? For one, there's a bunch of new synergy to use outside of dungeons. Pound pillars, lash rope, scoop sand, become sand! Returning moves include frost, whirlwind, and, uh, move. And who could forget the old favorite, mind read. Felix's adventure to ignite the remaining two lighthouses will take him all over the world. The first game was landlocked to one and a half continents, but here you'll be exploring all seven of Wayward's continents. Wayward! It's not Earth. If it sounds like a hassle to walk all over the world, pretty soon you'll have a boat to help you out. Traveling the globe becomes a breeze when you can sail across the open sea. Oh, the world is flat. Sad but true, the Golden Sun games do take place on a flat world. And thanks to the loss of alchemy, it's all just slowly eroding away at the edges. It's up to Felix to save the flat world and make it more flat. <sighs> Wayward. It's not Earth. Jin are back, and those rascals are once again hiding in all sorts of places. There's more than ever before, which of course means blitzing through boss battles with tons of summons. Well, the summons haven't changed much from the first game, but you can add more to your collection. Stone tablets are hidden throughout the world that give you more summons. These ones are special in that they'll draw from multiple elements, so if you want to blast your enemies with fire and earth at the same time, or a tag team of wind and water, well, hey, there you go. Now, if you were attached to the party in the first game, don't worry. You'll run into them again later on, and for a real treat, you want to import your old save data over too. Now, this is a pretty simple process as long as you've got two GBAs and a link cable handy. Just pop everything in and you're good to go. Now, if you just have one Game Boy Advance handy, you're not out of luck. You can still transfer everything over with a password. What you get to bring with you depends on whether you want the bronze, silver, or gold password. If you only want the essentials, stick with the bronze. If you want the stat boosts carried over too, pick silver. If you can't bear to part with all the money and items you collected, just pick the gold pass. Whoa! Holy moly! That's a solid 260 characters to write down. Oh, I hope you have good handwriting. Alright, let's punch it in! You 
are allowed to start a new game of Golden Sun The Lost Age without making your copy personalized. But if you change your mind, that's what the update option on the main menu is for. Just make sure you do it before running into Isaac's crew, or else it will be too late. Isn't that right, Isaac? Ah, cool, you can talk now. Besides getting your team back, importing old data adds cameos of characters from the last game that show up at different points in the story, usually giving Felix a unique item. When you do merge parties, you'll have so many characters that you'll be able to switch them mid-battle or have them on standby in case you end up with a party kill. Also new content is a blacksmith. You'll come across material you can't do much with except hand it over to Sunshine here. The stuff he makes is usually really good, but you won't know what you get until he's done. Sunshine also only takes payment after his work is done, and if you can't afford to pay for it, well, his wife will let you know that you don't enough money. Golden Sun The Lost Stage takes all the best elements of the first game's puzzles, combat, and thrilling dialogue options, and mixes them together for a delicious soup of a sequel that's bigger and bolder. While it's not the end of the series, it is the end of Isaac and Felix's journeys, and the future will see a new story dawn on a new generation of heroes. Oh, but that's an episode that's a solid uh, 8 to 30 years away. I'm just gonna start rolling, and that way we'll have extra blooper footage. Isn't that hilarious? It is hilarious. It's just like Toy Story 2. It is exactly like Toy Story 2. Do you <laughs> do you want to be the guy who's gymming, like from the office, like looking at the camera? No, you know nobody's seen Alex since the fire happened. Knock on the window or something. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no, back, no, back, no, 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 no. That's fine. What? What? Huh? Eh? Huh? Oh. Try, try to stand left of the tree. Left? Oh, this time left of the tree? Yes. Alright, see, I don't, uh, I don't like this direction. <laughs> this is his channel after all. <laughs> this will get me more subscribers if you stand left of the tree. Everything I do is a reference to Toy Story 2. Not one, not three, not four. Two specifically. That's why there's a prospector hidden in every video. I said don't react to me. I'm, it's, you're, I'll tell you, it's so easy to ignore. <laughs> if we were all trees, there'd be no more wars, because we'd be trees.